I saw um, I saw this an update to several streamer payout programs. So if you don't know, basically there was a program that came out for partner streamers where they could like if they had 350 individual concurrent subscriptions for three months, they will increase their ad revenue from uh, 50, 50, 50 to 75, um, 70, 70, 30. So they would earn instead of 50% half of the income, they would earn 70% of the income from anything going through Twitch. Uh, now they've done an update to this whole whole system and added even affiliates into the mix which is kind of nice uh but i can uh, talk about my little concerns as we go on so streamers and communities you build are the foundation of twitch we understand the important role of revenue that you earn from streaming plays in each of your lives our goal is to provide a revenue model that is rewarding and easy to understand while also being sustainable in the long run we have three announcements today that build and on changes we have made over the last year. These changes aim to create a long-term transparent framework for streamer compensation that rewards and encourages creators who are committed to live streaming. Expanding the Partner Plus program to give more streamer access to increase net revenue shares on paid and gifted subscriptions. Eliminate in eliminating the 100k usd cap for 70 30 net revenue share recipients so if you don't know the last time when they announced this originally if you were a part of the system you got 70 30 share if you hit if you had an revenue of hundred thousand dollars which is still a lot of money but if you had that this would go away and you would then after that pay 50 50. that is basically what would happen and now they're eliminating that whole id which is pretty big this whole particle is a big w by the way it's really good hi milk how you doing buddy changing the prime gaming subscription payout model to a fixed rate for each country i don't know how i feel about this i don't know what this means if this is a good thing or not i'm gonna say i'm gonna explain it the best way i could possibly do is that the the fixed rate of subscriptions is a great thing for consumers and it's overall a great thing because it's nice to it's nice that people have the emails and are subscribed and get an ad few uh viewing and um it is it's really nice it's really nice that they don't have to pay like a pricing that is more adjusted for americans when you live in a country that is earning way less these adjustments are amazing but the thing is that if you pay let's say one dollar for a sub compared to somebody that pays five dollar for a sub and the revenue that the creator earn is 50 50 or 70 30 obviously you want 70 30 to 50 percent from a, f from the one get, paying five dollars right obviously because then the creator gets more it's nine cents in turkey by the way nine cents so four point five so four cent four point five cents basically would be the revenue uh for the creator and again i think this is great when it comes to buying subs i pay five dollar for a sub that is ridiculous you should not be doing that in your country because i know where you're from and it's, it shouldn't it should completely change but anyways so i i i completely think that's fine because subs revenue yeah 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 i think it's a great thing that people get to sub and uh, they can use the emails and get the ad free viewing it's amazing that's great that's what i love uh the revenue part that's another portion but the thing that i'm looking at the reason why i'm mentioning this is because it says change the prime gaming subscription payout model to fixed rate for each country so that means that whenever somebody uses a prime you would often think a prime would be two dollars that's what you usually think but now because of this fixed rate i assume prime will be way way less valuable 
primes were always two dollars it was always two dollars it was never more never less that's why tier one subs are always best because you earn more as a could as a creator that's why you the tier one subs are usually more valuable than primes because it's 50 cents more uh, or sometimes even one dollar more so it's it's actually i think it's not too wait actually i think prime might be 1.5 or two two dollars i don't remember but regardless i'm going off topic again point b is that now you don't now these prime subs might have way way less value than they originally had which can be a little bit of a concern for creators because prime subs is honestly one of the things that carries twitch a lot for streamers it's a big deal why streamers stick to twitch as well it's not the fact that it's the biggest uh, live streaming platform it's because that having prime as an option is a pretty big deal next thing expanding the partner plus program really big w here really great great change in october 2023 we launched a partner plus program to provide streamer with improved net revenue share on paid and gifted subs based on their clear on clear and objective criteria criteria thousands of streamer have already qualified for partner plus and starting may 1st we will be expanding the program in three ways we are adding a new level to the program to expand the benefit to bro broader group of streamers streamers who maintain 100 plus points for three consecutive months will qualify for 60 40 net revenue on paid and gift subscription to the channel we are reducing the plus point threshold for 70 to 30 net revenue share level from 350 to 300 so 50 less subs amazing we are allowing affiliates to qualify when partner plus program launched with qualification set at 350 it made sense for the program to be partner only as just about every streamer who would be qualified was a partner with lower threshold more affiliate can qualify and they deserve to be rewarded for support of their communities so i want to make one thing very clear when it says plus points I don't know if they are let's let's actually get through let's read a little bit more because there's a there's a there's a thing here i want to talk about but let's re, re, just read a little bit more yeah it's a big w it's great it's a great change this means this means that we will also need to change the name of the program so the partner plus program will be known as the plus program when the changes take effect in may Partner plus program level, revenue share threshold, 100 plus points, and then 300 plus from for 70, 30. So you get 60, 40. You get 60, 40 for 100 plus points. In total, this expansion will allow three times as many streamer to have premium net revenue share rate. For more information plus program, visit the help page. Yeah um so here's my here's a key thing that they kind of seem to be not talking about in this article that they did in our original one these plus points these are individual subscriptions these are individual subscriptions so that means 100 people have to use prime or tier one two three sub directly these does not count to with when it comes to gifted subs unless they change it for this program but they're not specifying it i have 99 i have 99 subs at the moment so in reality if one sub now if gifted sub was a, a valid thing i would have be and i would keep this for three months i would be a part of this but since this is an individual so 100 individuals for an affiliate needs to subscribe for three concurrent months is in a challenge and i'm gonna be honest it's very nice that affiliate has this option because sometimes affiliate loses their doesn't like fail their application for a partner 
and the being locked away from feature because you're not partner it is bad it's very sad so it's nice to have uh, the affiliate has these options available but hitting this mark 100 concurrent subscriptions is just as challenging as applying for partner it is not an easy task you need to have 100 people to either keep their prime subs reoccurring on your channel for three months or you need 100 people to pay for a tier one tier two and tier three sub individually gifted subs do not count i've heard that affiliate is not the best position to be in on twitch no it's not great to be affiliate on twitch at all it's it's not because you get ads uh it depends really but no you, being an affiliate is not great unless you're closing on to being a partner really it's not the best you're losing a lot of features and a lot of remarks while being an affiliate and you get ads as well which hurts your growth so which is not the best it's really a challenge but it ain't impossible it's not it's not impossible the same goes to applying for partner which would allow these to the the next step also to open up so yeah i'm just saying that it's really hard but i'm happy that they have shared this with everyone it's really uh bro only 0.5 percent of the user base can do that um 100 occurring subs i think i think you're right i think you're right from this day i think i looked at like me my like i think that you're completely right because the thing is that I think like it's 0.3%, 0.4% of Twitch users are have like 75% average viewers. So 75 75 not 75% but 75 average viewers. So it's it is a really hard thing there's not that many that can do that. And they clearly done the math on this so you know it's 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 out there it's not gonna hurt them that much not everyone gonna get it but it's something you can achieve for yeah people getting 100 plus viewer on average is huge it's massive it is really really big it's really really big um they're eliminating a cap for 100k that's really nice uh i explained this at the start changes to the prime gaming subscription payout model Ooh. are you ready for this this is a big one it's a big one since 2016 twitch users who also at, wait are also amazon prime members have been granted monthly token that they can use to subscribe to their favorite twitch channels the program has evolved and the monthly sub token benefit is not part of the broadcast prime gaming benefit which is also includes free games these prime gaming sub token have been supplemental source of revenue for many twitch streamers and has given viewers a chance to enjoy subscription benefits on twitch without having to spend additional dollars prime gaming is a close partner and sees tremendous value in continuing the support of twitch streamer through this program I have many i have a couple viewers that can't subscribe themselves but they have prime and they use their prime on the channel and they get the email and get, gets to support me prime is amazing and it's super great thing to have and it's the it, 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 i'm happy it's an option like me yeah like dave like dave exactly it's amazing it's great uh when we first launched we decided to make prime gaming subscription payouts the same as paid subscription payout to continue offering the benefit in a sustainable way we are transitioning to fixed rate model for prime gaming subs based upon the country of the subscriber the shift to a fixed rate model for prime's gaming subs will be effective june 3rd 2024 and the rates can be found here we plan to publish the rates annually with update as required okay do 
Do you see that? Do you see this? Do, do you see do you see what I'm talking about? So if every sub was two dollar, look what has been reduced to. Look what has been reduced to. 70 cents, 60 cents. One. One. Th this is going to be a massive revenue loss. Primes are essentially going to be way, way less worth. Yeah, especially for smaller streamer. Yeah, uh, a smaller streamer will be hit. I mean... The thing is that you can think about it like you won't be really that hit that much if you're a small streamer right you have like maybe you maybe have like 100 to 200 uh people subbing so i guess like whenever you think about it you will lose like maybe uh you might lose like a 50 to 100 dollar extra every month because of this and um, or, or more even it depends on the amount a lot of people i think a lot of the people sub to me for example I'm a small streamer, but I, I'm not on the scale of what we're talking about small streamers at all. They do use tier one subs. They don't use Prime. Some use Prime. Not many. But I think Prime is like essentially always like around 40%. What about gift subs? Oh no, this is not related to gift subs at all, Skiv. This is just Prime subs. This is all Prime subs related. How do you spell Venezuela? Is it V-N-U? Or am I missing a... Uh, missing a... Missing a letter. Vene. Vene. So, you told me, Dave. You pay $5 for a tier 1 sub. Why does your Twitch Prime... Why is that worth $1.10? I don't think these rates are good enough. That is not the amount you would pay for a subscription. That is not the amount you would give given if you pay for regular sub. Look at Turkey. Zero. Do we have any Turkish viewer? Ukraine? Turkey is nine cent. Wow. United States is 225. Oh, this makes sense. Okay, okay. What is my country? Is my country even here? That is a scam. Wow. No. I I honestly think this is just this has all been reduced. All of this has been reduced it's insane so this is not a great thing not a great thing at all i think this is sad because you're making you're not really making that much from these anymore which is a shame because these were a really good way to freely um Help you out to help out your favorite streamer with a with a free one, but I mean, I guess Prime Sub was just like taking too much revenue from Twitch and it was just not worth it, so they had to adjust it. Honestly, the only one that seems to be all right are Canada, Puerto Rico, and United States. The rest of them are, are such a reduced rate. I mean. Because you need to think about this. You're thinking about this in larger quantities. And not just at one. Interesting. Well. All the any countries that, that kind of sad though. Yeah. I want to know how much a uh, sub from here is worth. 
um from germany oh yeah we can take a look at that germany one dollar and 55 cents so this is again this is prime subs whatever you when you click on tier one sub the half of that revenue goes to the streamer right now of when you click on tier one sub but this is a prime sub so at the moment the only revenue you get from a prime in germany is one dollar and 55 cent primes were two dollar for streamers right two dollars yeah some sometimes 225 but most of the time two dollars so now that we're reducing all of them from two dollars to one dollar to 90 cent to 60 cents it is a it's a big 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 loss for streamers overall it's not it's not the best i'm not that happy about that i mean i think all of the other changes are pretty good great great thing to add but the rest of the changes i i don't know about the prime changes i'm not that happy about that but again you are taking money from amazon but again are you really taking money like i i mean you have one free sub you can use anytime you can always use this free twitch prime on the channel once you know that that is always the thing and then you can take away money from amazon in that regard but otherwise you are paying for your prime sub so let's take a look at that for most streamers this change will not have a major impact on their revenue twitch prime twitch prime right now are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Reducing revenue by 50 to 80%? While any Twitch decreases. Prime, Twitch Prime. Yeah, right Twitch now. Prime. Twitch Prime. <laughs> any primers? Sub to Twitch Prime. That's right. If you have a free Twitch Prime, you just click on it. You know, click on your. If you click your subscription button, you know, you never know. It might say it's free. It might say there is a sub there. You never know. I already used it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> to be fair, most people chatting in chat is sub now. Um, let's see. Um, while any decreases will feel disappointing. We saw four, three things that are the same, or four. Four countries that are the same, and every single other country in the world has been reduced. Yo, dude, what is it? That is, that, is, that ain't oh, a prime. Oh my God, no. Dryx6 gifted Twitch underscore prime a subscription. Dryx6 gifted Thank you, Drix. to Twitch underscore prime. Thank you, man. They have given two <laughs> gift subs in the channel. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for gifting twitch prime a tier one sub man that thing is worth more than a twitch prime from your country so you're 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 single-handedly increasing the value of twitch prime right there for most streamers these changes will be uh, have, will not have a major impact on the revenue while any decreases will be disappointing, the difference between what a streamer received today for a prime gaming subscription and what they will receive after... To be clear, this will the difference only affect prime gaming subscription, which is only a portion of streamers overall revenue. Finally, the streamer who likely will be most affected are those who receive 70 percent net revenue share on prime gaming subs based on historical contract terms for some of these streamers, eliminating the 100k cap will offset this impact. But this will not be true for all streamers. We believe this is the right structure for the program going forward and making this change to ensure that the monthly Twitch subscription available to Prime member is long-term sustainable benefit for Twitch community. They better not come in a live stream like after this has been implemented a few months after and be like twitch is no longer not even the re uh, uh, we are not earning re enough revenue on this platform we're still running it at a loss blah 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 bitches you guys have been firing people and sucking more money i mean there, there's no way this is i feel like this goes out of amazon's pocket and not really twitch as well so i'm not sure 
Bro, have you been limited by 100k? The last problem you have is the prime sub, right? I'm gonna be real. True. If you earn, if you earn a year hundred thousand dollars from streaming on Twitch, I think if you earn more than that, I think you're good. I think you're good. But in the end of the day, it is your money. I mean, it is your money. So there's a double factor on when it comes to an argument here. But I'm gonna be real. 100k depends where you are in the world. Like if you live in LA, I think 100k. You, I don't know. I think you live well in LA with 100k, or is it like mediocre? I've heard like a bit mixed rumors about that, so I'm not sure. It depends where you live, but that's that's also a choice for you to change, and you can do whatever you want. But anyways, 100k is a lot of money, so yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. Conclusion, every month, over 1 million streamers earn money streaming on Twitch. But some of the money they make from Twitch is of secondary importance as they primarily use Twitch because they enjoy building a community through live streaming. However, for many Twitch streamers, being a creator is their career. Many more dream of becoming a career career streamer while streaming streamers make money from many sources the income they make directly from twitch is significant part of how they fund their lives twitch long term succeed depending upon our abilities to help these creators sustain their career over time at the end of the time since our creators depend upon twitch we need to ensure that our revenue share structure is designed so that we can sustain the business and twitch will be more well, Twitch will be here for here 50 years from now. Oh, yeah, I mean, true. That would be great. Uh, it would be sad to lose Twitch. The changes we are announcing today are des designed to create a transparent revenue share framework that can bring predictability to streamers' career. I know this post describes a number of changes, some of which are complex. And I'm sure you all have questions. I'll host a stream on Twitch today so I can answer your question, explain your thinking a little more. As always, we are welcome with your feedback and will continue to make Twitch the best place to be live content. Wait. Twitch best place to be a live, a live content creator. Dude, I'm really like a dumbass. Anyways, I think this is big. I, I, I've never seen a company have a CEO make an announcement and be like i'm gonna be live and take any questions in i've never seen that before dan is amazing he's super great um very 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 generous and kind ceo in the sense i'm not saying generous in the sense that he's being very he, he's giving out a lot of money he's do, giving a lot of things he's generous in the sense that he's giving out a lot of his time to the people working uh on twitch the people using Twitch and the streamers on Twitch. He puts a lot of his time out there to be presentable and talk to them and discuss matters and problems and clear things up that are confusing. He's a great guy and our lo the last CEO on Twitch. Dude, I've been a Twitch watcher since 2009, like when it was just in TV. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen any other CEO on Twitch. I never knew who they were. Like, I had to look after them. Dan is everywhere. He's doing a great job and is amazing. All of these changes beside the um, Prime subscription change is great. I think the, uh, the reduction on Prime sub is too much. I think it's way too much, honestly. Uh, it really will sort of focus more on people using a tier 1 sub over a Prime sub. Uh, I think, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll see what happens with that. Um, personally, majority of these changes are pretty big. I think the fact that you're allowing this program to work with affiliates as well is a great thing. But overall, the goals to hit while being an affiliate is very challenging. And if you are at this point with 100 individual occurring subs for three months i think you're already in a position where you can apply for partner uh, i i i've never met a i've never met i've never met or heard any affiliates that have 100 individual concurring subs and they have less than 75 viewers or 100 viewers i've never heard that before to be honest he's extremely transparent yes he is it's great i love it 
I, I love it. It's very nice to see him do that uh, and be like that because Twitch really needs that. A community like this really needs that. It's a live streaming service and having a CEO that is this transparent instead of a community manager, like he's more, talking more to the community than their community manager. I don't even know if they have a community manager, but heck, they don't need one because he's just there all the time to talk to them. Twitch lacked a human face for a very long time. So I guess he's a godsend for them. 100% he's, it's amazing. It's like, I bet streamers like Zach and like any other big partner streamers and stuff like that are so thankful that Clancy Dan, Dan took over the, uh, the spot because of the, of the way he is. I saw him was even on um, Miskiff's and Knut's uh, gym the other day. He was on Miskiff's stream and just talking about shit. Like, that's amazing. Dude is like 60 or something. He's like 50, 60, 70. I don't know, super old man. But then goes to like a couple young streamers gym they built and started like working out. Like that's that's funny. <laughs> that's great. Overall W, yeah. There's some negative with the Twitch, the, the Prime changes, but they're too drastic reduction. But overall, it's uh, it's all it's good. It's good. Uh, in the end of the day, I think uh, Prime is just a good substance for... It's a good me me middle ground for whenever you want to sub and don't really... Or can't really because it's like you get a Prime, it's cheaper, you can use Prime, you get the sub, you get to add free revenue, uh, like add free uh, viewing. It's nice. It, it is good in the end of the day. It's better to have Prime like this than not have Prime at all, in my opinion. Heavily. But I always thought to myself that Prime will change one day. I think I always thought that Prime will one day change. They will either remove it or change it completely. And I guess that we have the change right there. Hi, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe. I'll post videos nearly every day. So if you want to watch any more reactions, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you there.